This is an old SAT question that they've repurposed in the question bank. Uh, and people would get this wrong all the time. It's so freaking easy. And yet there's something about that trickiness of the SAT that some students just never understand. This was a question near the end of a section. That's why it's in my uh, twisted mix here for statistics because it's supposed to be a hard question. But what a lot of people would do is they'd read this. Okay, survey was given to residents of all 50 states asking if they had earned a bachelor's degree or higher. The results from seven of the states are given in the table above. The median percent of residents who earned a bachelor's degree or higher for all 50 states was 26.95. What is the difference between the median percent of residents who earned a bachelor's degree or higher for these seven states and the median for all 50, right? So what's the median in the chart? So many people just go, ah, the middle row is D. So 19.5 and 19.5 from 26.95, you guessed it, is 7.45. Come on, guys. You cannot do stuff like that. First of all, again, knowing where you are in a section, you should know that this question is harder than that. Unless this is question like three, you really think the median is just going to be the middle row and the, the subtraction is the only math you're going to need to do? That's insane. That's, a, that's, that's way too little work for something that we know is a hard question. But second of all, it's median. The most common trap for median on the SAT is they just put the numbers in a different order. So you have to unscramble them. That's it. So I, I don't know. This is obvious too, because it's not even like 19.5 is like close to the middle it's the lowest number. So I, I don't know. There's just so many things that are going wrong here for people. Basically, let's just look and kind of order them ourselves. So I see 19.5. Let's get rid of that. I see 21.9. Get rid of that. I see 25.9. Get rid of that. I see 27.9. Then I think we're good, but let's just continue. 30.1, 35.5, and 36.4. So the real middle is 27.9. And that is um, 27.9 minus 26.95. Um, just make sure you don't make a mistake here. Some people put A. I know it's not A, but some people put that. 27.9 minus 26.95 is 0 0.95. I think they do the math in their heads, and then they just get A because, I don't know, they see the 0.9 and the 0.95. I, I've, people would put that too, which always bothered me because it's like, you have a calculator, just just do it. Like, what, what are you waiting for? Like, it takes two seconds. Um, so yeah, this is this is not a hard question in the grand scheme of things. If you know what median is, you're fine. But it, it, the, the, the thing that, it, that really bothers me about this question when people get it wrong is they're not understanding that one of the most important features of the SAT is that it is a tricky test. They are trying to make you to make, get mis make you make mistakes on hard questions. It's not they're just handing you answers. Like you're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to be aware of where traps can happen and, and what they might look like. And certain types of topics have very consistent traps. Median, this is it, right? They're going to jumble the order. So you have to check every time they ask what median, did they put things in order? It's a simple move. But some people just can't they can't think like that. And if that's you, you're going to have a lot of trouble on this math test because you're still thinking of it like a math test. They're out to get you. You've got to play a smart defense in order to get as many points as possible on the test.